Hi, what's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today I'm bringing you a video on how to install emulators and ROMs to your original Xbox, as you see there. Alright, um, yeah, this is with or without XBMC. You can also have just the Unleashed X or Evo version of the soft mod um, dashboard. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and turn on your Xbox. Um, I would suggest plugging in an Ethernet cable to your router and to uh, your Xbox first and then go ahead and turn on your Xbox. Alright, just like that. Um, so this will connect the Xbox up to your internet so you can FTP the files over. Um, so once you have connected it to the router via Ethernet, we're going to hop over to the computer and then, uh, yeah. Alright, so now that we're at the computer, go ahead and install FileZilla. The link will be down in the description below. It's basically an FTP client to let you communicate um, from different stuff like your Xbox original. Since it's now connected to the internet, you can go ahead and connect to that and transfer files from and to the Xbox. Um, so that's what we're going to be using it for. Um, so yeah, um, just go ahead and download it, install it. You basically just click the link below, click download. It should start downloading and install it fairly fairly smooth. So yeah, um, once that's done, go ahead and open up your browser. And then we're going to focus in on the isozone.com website. All right, right here. Um, go to the top to where it says downloads. Go ahead and select it. All right, so right here you see Microsoft Xbox you can scroll down click emulators that way or up top you see emulators right down there on the Microsoft Xbox as well uh, 21 Xbox emulators or you can also search them alphabetical ties like if you go up to the top right here scroll down to where it says S if I want a Super Nintendo on my Xbox um, right there and then I can scroll down and then where it says there's Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo um, right here for uh, Xbox. I don't know if you guys can see that. Go ahead and select that. And then you can scroll down to the bottom um, until you get to Mirror. There's going to be a Mirror link right there. And then go ahead and select this. Um, then it should start downloading within like 10 seconds. Um, but I've already uh, have done that. So my folder is right here for my Super Nintendo, right, right there. All right, so once that's done, go ahead and open up your FileZilla. And then the host is going to be 192.168.0.1. Um, the username is going to be Xbox as well as the password is also going to be Xbox. The port is going to be 21. And then once it looks like that, go ahead and hit enter. And then it should communicate with the Xbox as long as the Xbox is still on. Um, so it does have to be on for this process. And then right here, these are the folders that's in your Xbox. We're going to be focusing on the E folder. If you want to go down to emulators, if there's none, just go ahead and make one. It's uh, no problem. But yeah, so go ahead and hit emulators. Alright, so these are the emulators that I currently have for my original Xbox. I got a PlayStation 1, N64, regular Nintendo, Sega Genesis. I have a Super Nintendo, but just for video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and get another one. Um, just to do that. Alright, so... Once you have this, go ahead and stay at this folder and then go up to the top and then back out of that window. And then, alright, this is where you're just going to basically drag and drop this folder into the emulator folder. Make sure it's extracted, um, otherwise your Xbox will not read it. Alright, see so down here, you see uh, 694 queued files, um, and then there's the successful transfers, and then also failed. I would go ahead and restart it if you have any failed transfers just so there's no problems later down the road on your emulator. It's probably due to like a connection error or something like that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing and then I'll be back when it's about done. So yeah. Alright so it's almost done transferring the files. 
As of right now, I got zero failed transfers, and then uh, the rest of them are successful, which is exactly what we want. And there it goes. So now we have a SNES folder um, right there in our emulator folder. Um, now we're going to focus on ROMs, so if you want to double click that, scroll down until you get to ROMs. If there is no ROM folder, just go ahead and make one. It doesn't really matter. And then these are the ROMs that actually came with the emulator, but for video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete them. So just basically de delete a file, you just go right click delete. Yes, and then uh, there they go. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to the browser, scroll to the top to where you see downloads go ahead and click it alright now you can either get to it also by other consoles up to the top to Super Nintendo or you can scroll down to Super Nintendo alright now this is the ROMs where you can get the ROMs for the Super Nintendo um, let's go ahead and go with Monday Night Football here we go Alright, just go ahead, just like with the emulators, click the mirror link, and it should start downloading it right there. And then, once that's done, go ahead and click it. Now, I know uh, other ROM places do it differently, but this, uh, on the ISO zone, I don't know why they do it like this, but they give you multiple different files, and you actually only need one of them. I'm going to go ahead and use the top one. I'm going to drag the file right there to extract it on my desktop. And then it's basically the same like the emulators. Just go ahead and drag the folder and drop it right there on the ROMs portion of the emulator. Alright, just like that. So now you're basically done. You have the Super Nintendo now on the soft modded original Xbox along with a ROM. And then you can keep doing this if you want different ROMs. You can also download like 700 ROMs all at once, you know, stuff like that, and just transfer them all over. You don't got to do it one at a time. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you do it. So let's go ahead and uh, hop over to the Xbox and test out our new emulator. All right, cool. All right, so now that we're back at the Xbox, let's go ahead and test out our new emulator. All right, just go to Programs, or if you're on Unleash, just go straight to Emulators, and then scroll over, and then scroll to the bottom, and you should see our new... Uh, ZSNEX box, which is the emulator that we just added. Go ahead and select it with A, and then it should load up. All right, just like that. Um, now to select a game, it's basically right there, just select game. And then as you see, it says ABC Monday Night Football. Um, if you want to play, just go ahead and hit A. And if it doesn't come to this screen, um, it might come to like one of these, and just scroll down until you get to ROMs, and then there it is. Um, so if we want to play, just go ahead and select A, and then it should load the ROM onto your original Xbox. Alright, just like that. And then you can also adjust the controllers. To get to the main menu, just go ahead and hit the thumbstick button, and that's where you can actually adjust the ROM. Um, sound options, controller options, you can uh, choose what buttons are what buttons and make your own configurations and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you get emulators and ROMs onto your original Xbox. If you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and there'll be more videos to come. Yep, peace.